Hi, everyone. Welcome. Happy Halloween. So Jack has an interesting hand that we're going to try to play today. What do you think, Jack? Is that you? Ah. <laughs> it's me. I'm here, Mary Ellen. Yes, I'm, I'm in true Halloween spirit. I didn't scare you, did I? No, I was a little horrified inside. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, listen, it is me. And the thing is, it's Halloween. So I've come up with a trick or treat hand. Good. Especially. So, yeah, challenging hand. We're going to either trick or treat. We'll see what happens. All right. I'm up for it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Should we go? There's the hand, Mary Ellen. So let's get started. Um, okay. South passes. Hang on a second. I've just got to get on to the thing. Yeah, pass from south. Uh, West, well, would you bid one spade or one heart, Mary Ellen, with that hand? I would probably bid one spade. Well done. So it's high fives, isn't it? One spade. Always yeah. high fives. I will take the mask off now because then they'll be able to hear me better. You need, you need <laughs> to breathe. Right? I need to breathe, yeah. So I can breathe now. <laughs> A That's north, good. well, it depends on your methods, Mary Ellen. What, what might you bid with a north hand? Let's see what I would do. I would bid two diamonds. Yeah, I think you would. Uh, most improvers, intermediates would. There is an advanced convention, though, that I don't, funnily enough, I don't teach it online, but uh, have you ever heard of the unusual two no trumps? I have. Yeah. Uh, it's for more experienced partnerships, um, and you obviously have to agree it because it's a convention. Uh, but here, an overcall of two no trumps, if you agree this convention, shows 5-5 five, five minimum in the two lower rank suits. Oh, yeah, that's handy. So it's quite handy when it comes up. So this must show at least five clubs and at least five diamonds. Okay. It's quite useful, but you do need yeah. to agree it. It's called the unusual two no trump. And you must have a bit of suit quality as well. You know, at least two honours uh, in each suit. I don't need many points, probably six points or more if you're non-vulnerable. And it's only for the minors? Oh, it's for the two. Well, some people play it, Mary Lynn, as only for the minors. Mm. Uh, but more experienced partnerships would play it for the two lower ranked suits. So, for example, if um, if West opened one diamond, the unusual two no trumps there would be five clubs and five hearts. You know, the two oh. lower ranked suits around diamonds. Oh, okay, I see. It's, it's quite complex. I mean, it's only for experienced partnerships. Um, East bids three spades, standard, you know, showing 10 to 12 points. Well, 10 to 11, actually, because remember, they passed first time round. And what do you think you might bid with the south hand? I would bid. Knowing partner's got five clubs and five diamonds. Well. Maybe a yeah, that's um. I would, but the clubs are terrible. They're terrible clubs, but you do know that partner's got five of them, um, and you know they've got at least five diamonds, and they must have some suit quality, you know. So your partner will have at least two of the top three honours. So actually, at the table, Mary, I think some players would just bid four clubs. At the table, they went to five clubs. Ah, okay. Well, half you know, half expecting to make. And you're half expecting maybe to shut the opponents out of a contract they might be making, you know, four spades or, well, probably four spades. Right. So that was passed by West, passed by North. Would you do anything with the East hand now, with the hand with the King of Hearts and the Ace King of Clubs? No, nothing. Um, I might, I might double. Yes. Well, people do forget to double. I would definitely double that. Your partner's open the bidding, okay. you know, showing 12 points. You've got the ace king of clubs, of trumps, and it looks as though the opponents are trying to steal from you, doesn't it? Right. And just for a bit of fun, this didn't normally happen at the table, but um, South's going to redouble, but only because it's Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> they, they wouldn't normally do that. <laughs> no. No, but we're having a bit of fun. So king of spades was led. Um, an encouraging 10 maybe from there. And we win with the ace. Right. Now then, we've got to try and make five clubs doubled. Marin, do you see a problem here? It looks a bit thin on the ground, doesn't it? It does. It, it's not looking good, but 
I mean, we it's do have not, the length, but just don't have the cards. It's not looking good at all, is it? You've got the ace, yeah. king of clubs to lose for sure. It looks like you've got a spade to lose. Right. And you might have one or two diamonds to lose. Right. Oh, my goodness. This could be very expensive, Mary, Mary Ellen, on Halloween. True. Now, listen, can you, I know you're an improver, similar to Bajir. Do you think this is a hand? I think what we need to concentrate on here is, is trying to get rid of our spade loser. Can you see a way, possibly, of getting rid of that eight of spades from our hand? Is there a, sorry, can you think of a way of getting rid of the six of spades from the dummy? Is there any chance? It's trick or treat. Well, I think you're just going to have to say, I've lost it. And yeah, like yes, but never give up, Mary Ellen. That's the key thing. Now, first <laughs> things first, we need to go to dummy. So let's just do that. And which card am I going to play, do you think? Clearly not the ace of diamonds. I need to play the ten of diamonds or the queen. Well, I think I would I would definitely try to I would do the queen. You would, probably, and that would work. It would win. But I have to tell you, if you were to do that, you would then always lose a diamond trick. So actually what we have to do here is oh. we have to go deep undercover. Okay. So yeah, here we go. This is the trick to play the ten of diamonds here. Um, finessing both the king and the jack at the same time. Because we need that. Right, right. And we need some luck here. We Basically, do. when you're playing in a contract that's really dodgy, you have to play for the only chance that it's going to win. Now right. look what I'm going to do. I'm in dummy. I did that for a reason because I wanted to go to dummy. And the reason I wanted to go to dummy was to play a heart towards my ace-queen. Now, which heart am I going to play? Am I going to play the ace to win the trick? Or am I going to risk the finesse with the queen? Well, that is a very good question. I probably wouldn't risk it. Just no, I mean, you... imagine many bridge players wouldn't, especially improvers. But the only chance of making this contract, and here is our next trick, is to take the heart finesse. Uh... You have to risk it. 50-50. This is why this is a really tough hand. Yep. It's a special Halloween, scary hand. But look what happens. The heart finesse wins. I know. Wow. But and now you, so... can, you could use oh. that heart to get rid of that spade then. Correct. So I now, see. having taken the necessary risk, you know, the trick, not the treat, we can yeah. get rid of that losing spade. Perfect. It is perfect because now the contract is looking so much better than it was a little while ago. Right. Um, now, what would you do, do you think? Where are we? We're in our own hand, aren't we? We are. We're, um... We've just got rid of the losing spade. So things are looking a whole deal better. Well, I might just rough that five of hearts. Well, you could do, but there's no rush to do that at the moment. Um, I think we should just draw the trumps. Okay. So should we have a go at that? Let's do that. Yes. To the ace. All right. um, yeah, we're going to lose the ace-king clubs. Let's say they play another club. Yep. A heart can go. I'm just going to unblock the 10 from the dummy. And they play a third round of clubs. This is good defense. You know, two for one. Right. Uh, spade can go. And now we're back on with the diamonds. All right. Jack of diamonds. We know the queen is going to win. That's a marked finesse. We can cash the ace of diamonds. Felling the king. And both our diamonds now winners look. Six of diamonds. And two winning clubs, Mary Ellen. A miracle is about to happen. A miracle. It's a Halloween miracle. There is a Halloween. It would only happen on Halloween. Right. We have made 11 tricks. Awesome. <laughs> that is wonderful. I thought it was quite a fun hand, trick or treat. So really, yes. we had we had three finesses to take. There are three tricks. And we ended up with a treat. And that we made five clubs doubled. It was redoubled just for fun. Really south. No, had no place in redoubling, but they only did it because it was Halloween. So I think I would have gone down, though, because I wouldn't have been as, um, I would have been too afraid to try those finesses. So you would have been too scared. I would have been too afraid. Yes, too scared. 
it, you, you're right, actually. When this hand was played in the classroom a few years ago, uh, before lockdown, I would say only I think only one person has ever made this hand when it came up as a set hand uh, in one of my classes, Mary Ellen. So really? you can be forgiven for not taking that heart finesse <laughs> early good. on uh, and for not also for not taking the deep finesse in diamonds, uh, which does right. take a lot of courage, doesn't it? It does. It does. And, you know, you just play it. You have to play more often to get that confidence up. So you yeah. can do these things. You would have to have been playing bridge a long time, but not only a long time, I think. You'd have to be playing, at a, you know, a really good game of bridge to get this hand right because yeah. you had to work out how to get rid of that spade loser. And you had right. to realize you had to risk the heart finesse. You know, and of course, it's if it loses, true. you're going to go one more down. But you just had to hope that everything was working for you. So you had to hope the heart finesse was right. And you also had to hope that the king and jack of diamonds were with West. But you know what, Mary Ellen? Fortune favors the brave. Yes. Yes, it does. It really does. And we're brave today. So we did it. We did it. Yeah. So that's yeah. a happy, ha happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, um, everyone. Yeah, say hello. And we, we named your little friend in the classroom, didn't we? We did. It's Bones. It's and Bones. So goodbye to Bones. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. This was a great hand. Great, Jack. Thank you so much. I thought it was a bit of fun. Happy Halloween. Bye, everyone. See you soon. Bye -bye.